Hi, welcome. Simon here and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be showing you on how to set up a brand new TP-Link router and port forwarding for your Xbox One. Here I have TP-Link AC1750 and if you're interested to, uh, to buy the router, I'll have the link in the description below where it will direct you to Amazon and you can get this router and follow along with the video. On the very far right corner here is your power cable. It plugs into your outlet and power up the router. Here is your power button. Sometimes if the router doesn't work, what you can do is turn off the router and turn it back on. Here, the white cable is coming from my internet service provider. It could be coming from Spectrum, Hawaiian Tel, depending on where you're living and depending on who is your internet service provider from the modem connects to your router. So make sure that this cable here is plugged into the blue port. Now mine is white, yours could be yellow, could be blue, could be any color. Uh, it doesn't matter, just you need to know the internet service that you pay monthly service and that cable here should connect to the white port. Here you have four ports and these are the orange ports uh, which stands for local area network for the LAN of any of the local devices. So you should be plugging one in for your Xbox, one for your desktop, one for your security camera, things like that. So any, any of the local devices that needs internet, that need hardwire, you should be plugging into the orange port. All right. so. For my case, I have the blue cable here, plug it into my laptop. This laptop, I'll be showing you on how to configure your router. All right, so let's go ahead and switch over to the screen. Here is the laptop screen. Go ahead and open up any browser, Microsoft Edge, Google Chrome, or Firefox, any browser that you wish. Go ahead and type in tp-link, wifi.net, and hit enter. Here you want to set up a new password. This password here is to able for you to log into your router. So create one password and make sure you write it down and remember. And this password is for your router. Let's get started. All right, so let's go ahead and log back in. The password that you just created. Now it will bring you to the setup page. Here we need to select the time zone. I'll be selecting Hawaii for my purpose. And for you, select any time zone that you wish. Click next. Here is the internet connection type. 99% of the internet coming from your service provider should be a dynamic IP. But for some business, some commercial, they may need to set up a static IP for their server. So I'm not sure what your business need. So make sure you call your internet service provider and ask them, is my internet a dynamic IP or is that a static IP? 99% of the residential internet is going to be a dynamic IP. So by default, just select dynamic IP if you're not too sure and go ahead and click next. All right. What I did was I just close out that little pop-up. Click next. Here, make sure you select do not clone MAC address. Click next. Here is your wireless settings. Smart connect, make sure it's enabled. And you want to give your Wi-Fi a name and your Wi-Fi password. For my case, I'm just going to leave it as default. What router is giving it to me and I'll click next. But for you, you may want to change your Wi-Fi name and password. Take a moment, write down your, write it down on a piece of paper and make sure you remember your Wi-Fi and your password. Here is another page, a summary of what we have done. Click save. And we're just gonna wait for the router to complete the process. Now you can fast forward the video, but for me, I'm not gonna pause it. I'm just gonna wait out the entire process.
All right, so it is done and completed. You have successfully set up your TP-Link router. And for those of you who stay here for the port forwarding, and let's go ahead and get started. So go ahead and open up your browser. Go ahead and click on TP, type TP-Link Wi-Fi net the password that you created to log in into your router let's go ahead and type that in all right here i just like to give you a quick view on the dashboard the control center of your router the globe here has a little check meaning that you have internet coming into your router your router is broadcasting the 2.4 Wi-Fi and the 5G. Here, underneath, it says wired client and wireless client. At this point, you should have seen your Xbox is either hardwired in or wireless connection to the router. You're also going to see your iPad, your iPhone, your Android, any wireless devices here. You should be able to see it in the host client as well as any hardwired connected to this okay so for me i only have a laptop that's been connected hardwired and this is my ip address so what i want you to do is you want to take a picture of the ip address of your xbox right if your if your xbox is hardwired you click on wired clients if your xbox is wireless you click on wireless clients and you're gonna see the IP address, take a picture of that, and that's gonna move on to the, excuse me, we're gonna move on to the next step for the port forwarding. So click on advance, scroll down, click on net forwarding, scroll down, click on virtual server. Here, we're gonna click add, and service type, we are going to type it in xbox dash 88 88 for the xbox port that we need to open and this is the ip address as i was saying to you so for my case i only have one device connected and it's 192.168.0.100 for your xbox it could be dot 105 108 110 i don't know only you were able to find out at the earliest stage I was explaining to you is either hardwired or wireless client. Click on that, take a picture of the IP, and this is where you're going to put in the IP address. Internal port is 88, and this is going to be UDP. So the Xbox require UDP only. It doesn't need to have the TCP. So you select UDP for port 88 and click save. All right, so you get the picture now. We're gonna move a little bit quicker. The next port I'm gonna open is port 3074, Xbox 3074, and this one is 3074. Internal IP is the 1.100, for my case, 3074, and we are selecting all. All means I like you to have the TCP and the UDP both together. So it's going to be all. Click save. Click on next. We're going to add the next one. Xbox. Port 53. We're going to add 53. Okay. Select the IP 53. I'm going to select all again. Click add. We're going to add 80, so 80. External port 80. IP address 80. The port 80 only require TCP. We do not need to have the UDP. So just leave the UDP blank and click save. Click add. Xbox 500. 500 IP address 500 and this is only for UDP click save 
done. We are moving to the next one. It's 3544. 3544. IP address 3544. And this is only for UDP. Click save. And the last port is 4500. 4500. IP address 4500 and select UDP click save so this is pretty much it we just open up the all the port forwarding ports that needed for your Xbox and if you find this video is helpful please go ahead and give me a like if you haven't subscribed I would appreciate if you subscribe to the channel uh, I like to make more of this kind of content for you and if you have any question comment below if you're not sure what you're gonna do with the port forwarding or the router settings comment below I'm more than happy to help you with that so I actually uh, I hope you learned something today and like always uh, stay safe and until next time take care